Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Eddie. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing on how to name bicyclic compounds. Now, for a compound to be bicyclic, that compound must possess two rings. Now, you can see we have different structures drawn on the board. And in today's video lesson, we'll be learning on how to name these structures. Now, the first step taken in naming a bicyclic compound is to locate the bridgehead carbon. Now, what is a bridgehead carbon? This is simply a carbon that joins the two rings together. Now, let's quickly start with the first example. Now, let's locate the bridgehead carbon. Which carbons join this ring together? This part of this compound and also this part. Basically, this is the bridgehead carbon. This is the bridgehead carbon. Now, moving from one bridgehead carbon to another, how many carbons do we have? We have just two carbons. Moving from one bridgehead carbon to the other bridgehead carbon from the left, we have two carbons. Now, moving from this other bridgehead carbon to this bridgehead carbon from the right, we have how many carbons? One, two, and three. Now, that is that. Now, we have two carbons, we have three carbons. Now, there is a carbon that joins these two bridgehead carbon together. And where is that carbon located? This is a carbon. So here is one. So, in naming a bicyclo compound or a bicyclic compound, we simply start with this. Bicyclo, why? Because it's relating two rings together. So, bicyclo, you open a bracket and you start with the number three, two, and one. It's going in a descending order. So, we have three dot, two dot, one. Now, how many carbons are present in this molecule? You simply count 3, 2, 1. 3 plus 2, that is 5, plus 1, 6. With the addition of the two bridgehead carbon, making it 8. So what would be the name or the parent name of this compound? It is called octane. So basically, the name of this compound is called bicyclo. 2 bicyclo, 3 dot. 2.1 octane. Now, this is how to name bicyclic compounds. Now, let's quickly move over to the second example. Now, where are the two bridgehead carbon located? These are the two bridgehead carbon. Now, moving from the left, from one bridgehead carbon to the other, we have how many carbons? We have just two carbons. And moving from this bridgehead carbon to the other bridgehead carbon from the right, we have how many carbons? We have Two carbon steel. Now, the two bridgehead carbon contains how many carbon steel? Two carbons. So we have two two carbons and also two carbons here. So what will be the name of this compound? Basically, it will be bicyclo. Open a bracket. Now you can see the numbers are all even equal. So you just write two dot two dot two. Close the bracket. And how many carbons are found in this molecule? Basically, 2 plus 2, that is 4, plus 2, that is 6. With the addition of the two bridgehead carbon, 6 plus 2, that is 8. So, it is called bicyclo, bracket 2 dot 2 dot 2 octane. This is the name of the bicyclic compound. Now, let's begin move over to this example. Now, this we have the two bridgehead carbon located here. This is the carbon that joins these two cyclic compounds together. Now, moving from left to right, from this one, from one bridgehead carbon to the other bridgehead carbon, how many carbons are we, have, are we having? We have one, we have two, we have three, and also we have four. So we have four carbons here. Now, moving from this bridgehead carbon, so this other bridgehead carbon, we have how many carbons? We have two carbons. Now you can see there's no carbon joining the two 
bridge head carbon stars will make it zero. And what will be the name of this compound? It is called bicyclo bracket right descending order. Don't forget two, four dot two dot. Now because here there's no there's no carbon that joins the two bridge head carbons together, so it's a dot zero. Close the bracket. And how many carbons are found in this molecule all together? We have four plus two. That is six. Plus zero, that is six. With the addition of the two bridge head carbon, don't forget. So six plus two, that is eight. So basically, it's the octet. So it is called bicyclic bracket. Four dot two dot zero. Closing the bracket, octet. Now, let's quickly move over to the last example. Now, where is the bridge head carbon? This is the bridge head carbon. These are the carbons that join these two cyclic compounds together. Now, moving from one bridge head carbon from the left to the other, we have how many carbons? We have one, we have two. Now, moving from one bridge head carbon to the other, how many carbons? We have just one carbon. So here we have two carbons, which are the one and two, and also we have one carbon here, which is one. Now, these are the two bridge head carbon, and there's a carbon in between the two bridge head carbon, which is this. So what will be the name of this compound? So this becomes one. So basically, the name of this compound becomes bicyclo into um, descending order two dot one dot one, closing the bracket. So how many carbons all together? We have four carbons. So two plus one, three plus one, four. Don't forget, including the bridge head carbon, which makes it um, six. So basically, it's called bicyclo bracket two dot one dot one including the bridge head carbon making it six so basically it's called exe so the name of this compound is called bicyclo opening the bracket two dot one dot one okay good now basically this is how to name compounds that are bicyclic don't forget to subscribe to chemistry made easy with bright edo for more videos thanks